Turn your house into a dream home. Recently opened, a brand new one shop stop for hardware and home decor. Visit the home hub at Mobile Modern Ritting. Mitak si umintri rong bak kecela u Konrad K. Sangma, ula lom ya ki engineer beki officer ban bishar ya kadao, batua ka kendro ka PA Sangma Stadium, hatura ha ka arpu artrik u jeleo arja apulai. Bakran halo kani hadian belawa ke jingelang, u Konrad ulaong bakat kong ke jinglap ke jing tokit ban marmar, la syam bak kadao ke jing tua ke benta jong ka kendro, kadei na ke jing syaset ke lenti um ke batu namadan. Ulaong bagi way ki way ki jing tay kim lay lay hindi ka soka kala siyem ya ki lat ki linti maniada kanang ban lat na kano kano ka jing jia. We had a review meeting today on yesterday's incident of the retaining wall, small part of the retaining wall collapsing in B.A. Sangma Stadium in Tura. After a preliminary study by our engineers, uh, I have been given the report by the engineers and by the contractors that uh, the uh, drainage system that is there in the stadium uh, which uh, was meant to allow the water to flow out uh, was blocked and uh, as you're aware that uh, there are two parts to the stadium construction the first part which is the part that is complete uh, the football stadium, uh, which is approximately at the cost of about 50 crores, uh, is where this uh, incident took place. The second part of the stadium, which is approximately 70 crores, uh, the work is just starting. It's an indoor stadium with uh, different facilities in it. And so the construction of the indoor stadium side was uh, going on. And uh, because of these activities, the drainages uh, got blocked. And because of the blockage of the drainage, the water was not uh, able to flow out, which put pressure on this section of the retaining wall, which then uh, gave in under the pressure of all the water collecting throughout. Uh, another important point is that the overall uh, structures, which are the new stands that have come up, uh, all of them are uh, stable. Uh, the preliminary report is that there is no damage to any of the other uh, structures. Those three other structures are independent and um, they have not been any damage as, the prelim as per the preliminary reports. Uh, it is only that uh, 10 meters of the retaining wall where the pressure of the entire football fields, water collected there went in that direction, which led to the collapse of uh, 10 meters of the retaining wall that was put up there. There is a high mass uh, in that section uh, which again is independent of the retaining walls foundation. The foundation is approximately 9 meters deep and hence uh, the engineers have given a preliminary report that uh, from their calculations and all the study they've done that the high mast which is the light out there uh, is uh, stable but as a precaution to ensure that uh, they don't take any chance uh, they are further investigating into the matter and they are reducing the weight of that particular high mass temporarily to ensure that they further go in and avoid any kind of future uh, incident, uh, if any. But uh, they have given a report saying that the high mass uh, foundation is completely independent of the foundation. And as I said, it is a nine meter deep. And because of the blockage of the drainage, the water was not uh, able to flow out, which put pressure on this section of the retaining wall which then uh, gave in under the pressure of all the water collecting throughout the football stadium that was there. Uh, the retaining wall in the uh, preliminary report that has been given to us, the uh, specifications are uh, as per the uh, drawings and the entire uh, uh, details that have been put in uh, and the retaining wall is been, has been made as per the specifications. So there is nothing wrong in the construction part, all the quality measures and all the specifications have been adhered to. And as I said, it is uh, only because of the drainage uh, and the leakage of the water that that part was affected. But uh, necessary measures have been taken to ensure that we uh, stop any kind of further damage in that area. Uh, another important point is that the overall uh, structures, which are the new stands that have come up, uh, all of them are uh, stable. Uh, the preliminary report is that there is no damage 
to any of the other uh, structures. Those three other structures are independent and um, there have not been any damage as, the prelim as per the preliminary reports. Uh, it is only that uh, 10 meters of the retaining wall where the pressure of the entire football field's water collected there, that uh, from their calculations and all the study they've done, that the high mast, which is the light out there, uh, is uh, stable. But as a precaution to ensure that uh, they don't take any chance, uh, they are further investigating into the matter and they are reducing the weight of that particular high mast temporarily to ensure that they further go in and avoid any kind of future uh, incident, uh, if any. But uh, they have given a report saying that the high mast uh, foundation is completely independent of the foundation. And as I said, it is a nine meter deep uh, foundation and hence uh, they've given a report that uh, it, is, uh, uh, it is stable, but uh, to avoid any kind of uh, future incidents, we are taking all the possible uh, steps to ensure that it's stable. Uh, in the meantime, a magistrate inquiry uh, has been uh, put in and uh, the contractors and the engineers are all on the ground and every step that is being required to take to ensure that uh, no further damage takes place is being done as we speak. Thank you.